All right, the name's Maurice, and this is the first installment of what I like to call a damn shame. So basically, I'm going to be talking about the latest news that I find so ridiculous that I just got to talk about it, you know what I'm saying? And that also includes the latest news in pop culture, politics, and even like some of my own experiences that I just find a damn shame, you know what I'm saying? Here's what I'm going to be talking about. I got up this morning, right? Take a shower and everything, get myself together, come back to my room, turn on my computer, and check my email on my Facebook and stuff because, you know, that's what I do. It's like a ritual. In there. And I signed into my Yahoo Messenger. And if any of you are familiar with Yahoo Messenger, y'all know that y'all have this option to have this panel come up that shows some of the latest news or whatever. It's called, I think, Yahoo Today. So I see this one story about the latest trend that's taking the whole nation by storm. And I'm like, okay, I got to see what's up with this because I love being in the know. You know what I'm saying? I love keeping up with the times. Basically, I look at the story and then I find out it's not really a very good story. <laughs> or is it a very good trend for that matter? It's what they call sexting. It's cool for the kids, for the girls, you know, to send pictures to people of themselves nude or videos of themselves nude or whatever. And they think that it's going to get them some guy to like them or something like that. But obviously, as we see in these stories, it just doesn't seem to be the case. I just read the story about this girl. Her name is Hope Whitsell. She was... She was... She was 13. I guess there was this boy in class that she liked. She thought he was cute, fine, whatever. So she sent him a picture of herself topless. Obviously not thinking about the consequences of a drug. Come to find out, he didn't send the picture to everybody. He didn't tell everybody and their mama about this picture. People at other schools know about this girl in this picture. And so everybody's mocking and giving their shit about it. Calling her slut, cunt, whore, blah, 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 whatever. Y'all know how kids is these days. But how kids always are. <laughs> you know? So, like, she tried to stand up to her. She tried to, you know, keep her head up or whatever. But obviously, something that big is going to haunt you. She just couldn't take it. She just couldn't make it through eighth grade and go straight to high school and leave the past behind her. Instead, unfortunately, she ended up taking her own life by hanging herself from her bed, which is the same thing that happened to an 18-year-old girl at Mar I mean, March at her school. She sent a picture to her boyfriend, and this is her boyfriend, and he's sending the picture everywhere. Everybody mocking her, and she hung herself from her bed. What in the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So, what I want to say is, parents, for real, y'all got to get a grip. Y'all got to stop being pussies, all right? Now, I'm, you know, to the left, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you can, I guess you could call me a Democrat or whatever. I'm kind of, I'm pretty liberal. At the same time, I am very conservative about some issues, too. Y'all need to start, like monitoring your kids y'all can't be letting them go do their own thing all the time and not have any reinforcement whatsoever for their actions all right not to mention y'all gotta inform them about the dangers that await them in society all right because they're either gonna learn the easy way or they're gonna learn the ridiculously fucked up way okay <laughs> like y'all gotta just because you're getting your kid a phone and just because cell phones are the new thing now Everybody's getting a phone. Everybody's getting new phones. The new droid just came out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta talk to y'all kids about these things, okay? You can do so much with a phone that you can carry anywhere, especially if it has a camera attached to it and you can send messages to anybody at any time. So long for the days of passing notes. You can just send a text, have your phone on you, and you're good. You know what I'm saying? Nobody even has to know. But you're going to have some people out there who will tell the world, who will show the world. People who will stab you in the back and punch you in the face and then shoot you in the face because they don't care. You know what I'm saying? This is a boy she liked, okay? It obviously wasn't worth it. It just wasn't worth it. I mean, just for a boy she liked, she's she showing her tits to this guy. Now, 
for any guy out there who's a guy like I'm a guy, we all know if a girl is showing you her stuff, the first thing you're going to think is, damn, she don't give a fuck. And the our level of respect for her is going to go down, okay? Because that's what happens. Men generally don't respect women who show off their shit. I don't care. You can say what you want, but that's just how it goes. You know what I mean? Like, men look at porn. You know what I'm saying? Men look at women in the strip club. You look at women in hip-hop videos. You know? And women complain about the women being degraded and things of that nature. But at the same time, these girls are allowing the things to happen. And we end up having less respect for them. And that's just how it goes. So women, if you want respect, do not do this. All right? Please. I don't care how much you like him, how much you love him, how much he, is, he means to you and how great he is. All right? He is not worth it. Unless this is your husband, don't be sending him messages. Or if you just get down like that. If you get down like that, fine. You know what I'm saying? Just know that people going to be all up on stuff. And people will stab you in the back. So if you don't want anybody else seeing stuff like that, you probably shouldn't send them. Because I know, girl send me her stuff, I might want to show my boy or two. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, dang, look what this girl just sent me. That's what's up. You know, and definitely if something like this happens to your kid, don't punish them on top of it. This girl getting punished enough. You know what I'm saying? You gonna punish the girl? Like, what? How do you think that helps? She's at school getting punished all the time, every time, every day. And then on top of that, you're gonna, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Now, I understand. The girl does something stupid and messed up, she gotta suffer for it. Alright? But the punishment she goes through every day is worse than any punishment you can give her. Alright? I know from experience. When you have a lot of people who just don't like you, who make fun of you all the time, that's hard to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to be the fat kid, I got made fun of every day. That's not fun, you know what I'm saying? But I was able to deal with it. But that's nowhere near as bad, honestly, I think, as what she had to deal with. So, in short, educate your kids. Please, talk to them. Don't think that just because you're the parent that you're going to be the overlord, you're going to be the emperor of the house. You know what I'm saying? So talk to your kids, please. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how uncomfortable it is or anything. Talk to them. Don't force it down their throat. But y'all parents, be parents, please. You know what I'm saying? That's basically all I got to say. If you like my video, subscribe to me. I'm NMRYDA on YouTube. You can go to my MySpace at MySpace.com slash The Ultimate R-A-G-E. I repeat myspace.com slash the ultimate r-a-g-e the ultimate rage no spaces no underscores no nothing just the ultimate rage all right signing off holla back at your boy peace out